I'm Chad Solomon from Ambic, and I'm pleased to uh, be here today with one of our newest design partners. You want to introduce yourself? Yes, sure. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me for the interview. Thanks it's for really being here. a pleasure for us. So I'm Jens, Jens Winder from iSings, Managing Director, and we are, yeah, as you said, a partner, a technology partner in new in your program. Wonderful. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your company and uh, what makes you guys unique. Yeah. For us, what makes us unique? Uh, to go a bit back, uh, our purpose, our um, strength is mm. uh, embedded, embedded IoT. Oh yeah. And where we are is, if you ask about what is our USB, is um, edge computing, yeah, embedded modules, antenna design, which you found out last year. That's right. And uh, connectivity and protocols. And this is a highly performance integration in the modules. And this is what you can see here at your booth. Wonderful. At yeah. So um, we're going to go ahead and have a look at that module in a moment. But tell us a little bit about it. What, what have you done with us? Uh, how, how are we getting started on our collaboration yeah. together? Yeah. So to start the collaboration, it was uh, an interesting thing for us as well, uh, because it was a new uh, ship. And uh, we try to focus and see how we can come, come into the design very quickly. And we used one of our product, it's a sensor, where we replaced the chip to the Ambic uh, mm -hmm. chipset. And now what we have is a sensor, highly integrated with a new patented ante antenna from our side, uh, with our send which sending now uh, in Bluetooth. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So and it's running. It's running here on the booth. Yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah. We see we have a heartbeat. It's actually up and running. Absolutely. And it's great. We, we so we actually met a year ago at Embedded World. Yeah. And we decided, you know, we should really try to do something together. Yeah. Because you guys um, really can complement our efforts to go mass market, right? You And you have the, the secret sauce. You're, you're, you have expertise in low power design. Absolutely. But also significant skill in RF. And, uh, and I'm, I'm really intrigued by this new board and the antenna design on yeah. it. It's, yeah. it's, it's, really, it's really thrilling. Yeah. You, want to, you want to talk a little bit about uh, the antenna and what makes it so, so special and why I think it's so cool? Yeah, yeah. So what is cool? Cool is on that side, and this is what I forgot uh, in the beginning, was yeah. Yeah, the low power design from your chip. So Absolutely. this makes interesting for the edge computing from our side. Yes. So um, if we see the antenna, antenna is often, if you see a replacement or if you see a design, it's often an external antenna. This is cost-wise not the best solution, uh, but therefore to integrate it in a product, you have to really experience in that area of the antenna sure. and the integrated design, because the whole electronic then will be the antenna itself. Right. So to make it in an efficient way and in a highly integrated way, um, let's say EG radio pattern should be good on the antenna side. Um, and this is where we are. So equipped with the right uh, equipment for testing, for development, for sure. simulation. And this is how we now could benefit from each other. Your core competence in the Ambic ship and our core competence on how the integration uh, of IoT. And I remember when we had our last conversation, you were teaching me something about your ability to model antenna RF propagation. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? That's, that struck me as being something pretty special. Yeah, this is what we always start. So if mm. we have the chance, we starting from simulation to just uh, measuring the antenna and then go into our own in-house uh, observer chamber uh, to test the whole circle uh, okay. uh, circuit and then to see what is the best coming out of the product. Yeah, Wonderful. in the area of high performance, as I said, antenna like radio patterns, but also on uh, power consumption, which is very interesting and necessary for uh, low power uh, applications. Fantastic. So tell me about this. We, um, we actually only started engaging together quite recently. We've been in discussions. We've been looking for some yeah. joint customers, some ways to get things get started. And we just started working together, I would say, six weeks ago or so, quite, quite Absolutely. recently, in yeah. preparation for this show. Yeah. We said, let's do something for Embedded yeah. World. Yeah. So how has it been? You guys have a working board already. Yeah. That's quite a short time frame. Yeah. So like, how has it been getting up to speed on Ambit? What should I say? This is our DNA, yeah, yeah, to yeah. be quick in the technology nice. and quick and design uh, things ready to the market. Yeah. Cool, cool. Not just for high volumes, also on this, what you show on the POC, uh, on, sure. the, on, the, on the booth uh, in the POC, we are quick to request from our customers. Awesome. <laughs> Documentation from our side, SDK, you know, did that all flow well in and, terms of your development And team? this was this was a benefit. We could really step not on the ground. We step very high okay. on a high level uh, in the design. Yeah. Wonderful. 
Tell us a little bit about what um, customers can expect next from your company and, and perhaps a little bit about our engagement um, yeah. in the future. Yeah, this will be based on the partnership, yeah, sure. the technology partnership, I guess. Um, together, we are part of our customers' journey. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. we can make uh, customers happy in the end if we come together. So if customers want to design on the low power performance, including uh, IA uh, from, from your chipset mm. and find the right partner for design it uh, for their products, then they can add service added values to the customers. And this makes sense in terms of customer journey for the end user. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, yeah we're so excited to be working with you. Your, your expertise will be, bring so much value to our mutual end customers. Yeah. Um, what, what regions are, are, are you supporting um, yeah. geographically? Um, where would you like to see uh, customers um, fr from our side you know, recommending uh, iThings? Yeah, surely I would say if I open worldwide, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm realist and uh, let's say we are stripping down, going to Europe and then going to the Dach area where we are located so far. Okay. So in Cologne and Duisburg, our locations, the laboratories, and this is where our uh, core is. But yeah, we will see. So it depends on the partnership then and okay. uh, how we will be supported and uh, can then grow from them. Wonderful. Together, and now you can help our customers not only with with hardware design and RF antenna design, but what about on the firmware side? Do you have expertise in that area as well? Co correct. Yeah, yeah. we. Are, I said we are always application less. Let's say. Yeah. Okay. So therefore, we are not working directly in customers' expertise. So for us, we. Uh, we bring, as I said, connectivity protocols. This is where yes. we help the customers. This is a very unique and special expertise we yes. have on board, but this is nothing the customer directly need to implement services and added values. So therefore, mm. we stop there, but this is the absolute core from our side where we can support each customer in different areas and different industries. Oh, that's wonderful. And um, finally, tell us a little bit about the, about the production side. If a, when a customer is ready to ramp, um, do you have the ability to support some of the production in-house? Do you work with third-party manufacturers? How does that side yeah. work? So everything is possible. Hmm. So we often have customers with their own production line. So then okay. there will be a chance to bring in the design into their production. So we are experienced in that as well. But we, we itself, as I think, are fabulous. But uh, we are headquartered by a much bigger company and they have a production line on different locations in the world and we can do it uh, quite easily and support our customers on that side as well. Oh, that's wonderful. So you have the ability to, to leverage your in-house production Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, Absolutely. I, I see that as fantastic. You're entirely flexible according to what the customer needs yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. great. And that's the glue. All right, well, I'm dying to take a look at this new demo that you, Absolutely. you guys just Yeah, let's go us. through. So let's have a look. Yeah, let's cool. go through. Uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about this uh, this yeah. cool board that you designed. Yeah, I would do. So, uh, as I said before, it's a it's a design we already had to have in place. Yes, uh, yes. So, therefore, to uh, reduce the cost for this pocket bit, uh, we that we just said we replace uh, the the chipset and uh, go to our new antenna. So, this is the the design, the size uh, where we normally uh, applicate uh, our climate sensor, and we change uh, to your chipset with the performance you already mentioned. Oh, yes, sure. <laughs> and um, yeah, what you see on the top is the integrated antenna. This is patented from our side. This is our core expertise, one of our core expertise yes. I, I said before, and this is the highly integrated on it. And if you turn around, this is the placeholder for the battery, cool. but uh, you don't want to use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this is the next one. This is a Bluetooth antenna. Sure. So it's a 2.4 gigahertz yeah, yeah. Uh, antenna. This is uh, how we set it up. Normally it's another one, but this is now the next step uh, okay. in the partnership. Yeah, just to clarify, I was referring to a USB battery here, powering it from that side. I guess we didn't have a battery the right size to, yeah. uh, to fire it on from that. Yeah, that yeah. would certainly work as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is what I thought was really intriguing. When I when I first stumbled on your booth at yeah. Embedded World last year, I was seeing structures that looked like this, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Yeah. I've never seen an antenna yeah, look, yeah. that looks like this. Yeah. This looks like crazy rocket science stuff. Yeah. So so tell us a little bit about that, that nutty antenna. Yeah. Yeah. That, that looks like nothing that I've seen in any of my engineering textbooks, yeah. uh, you know, growing up. So yeah, what? this is really an expertise we have. Yeah. So we have a big team uh, of people. They are creative, wow. and uh, especially this is uh, um, Nelson, our senior antenna developer, and he designed this uh, antenna for it. And he thinks organic. Mm. And this is if you look uh, if you look into into nature, this is what you found there. Yeah, so okay. organic nature. Wonderful. Antennas, and then if you then look at the radio patterns, uh, for etc., and the performance, 
then you come to this uh, in design. And I understand it has a, a really beautiful 360 degree radiation pattern. Absolutely, right? yeah. So absolutely. not only does it look like a beautiful antenna, but but it performs. It's also, like yeah, also the performance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, also it the It looks good and it looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Both should be. A Both. Nice combination to have. Nice combination, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually it's a trade off. You either absolutely. look good or you work well. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. No, oh, thank cool. you for the chance. Yeah, yeah, uh, thank you. It was really a pleasure and um, also an interesting uh, thing for us to do to go. Uh, with a new chip design and Great. to integrate uh, these things. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the tech partnership. Uh, we are as well. I hope that some of the companies that will see this video will, uh, will realize that, hey, this is going to be a really cool company to work with. Yeah. We should hook up with iThinks and, and use Ambix uh, uh, yeah. high performance, high efficient uh, yeah. SOCs for a new edge computing device yeah. designed by iThinks. Yeah. So, awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks again for stopping by. This yeah. has been fun. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.